I have an unboxing and demo of the new Google Home Mini versus the Amazon Echo Dot. Can Alexa really compete? Plus, a big giveaway coming right up. Hi, I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. I usually flag massive deals for you right here, but I'm obsessed with tech. And in all of my unboxings and all of my comparisons and one of my prior videos where I showed you how I made my whole home smart, a lot of you have been asking to see the Google Home Mini up close. And more importantly, how does this compare to Alexa? I'm saying that quietly because I want to warn you right now. You might want to mute your Alexa if it's in the room because I don't want to trigger it, but either way, maybe it'll be fun. We can see how our devices are programmed together, which really does help me because I'm lonely. Okay, let's start immediately by unboxing the Google Home Mini before I give something big away. So as I unbox this, let's discuss the Google Home Mini. Obviously, Google Home is to compete with the larger Amazon Echo. The Dot is the smaller or the smallest of the Amazon products. The Google Home Mini is also, ooh, it comes right out, your key to home automation. I think this is how they want you to open it. But anyhow, that's all good. So this is the speaker itself. And in here, you now the packaging, maybe even a little bit better than the Amazon Echo Dot. Really nice rounded plug with the Google branding on it. And of course you have the micro USB. So the power supply to both the Echo Dot and the Google Home Mini are identical. This does not have the auxiliary out. What does that mean? The headphone like jack output on the Echo Dot allows you to expand the speaker to a larger stereo system. This is a weak speaker. This is a weak speaker too. They're both great for home automation, but not amazing for blasting your tunes. This does not give you that ability to hardwire. You have some touch control functionality. Let's plug this in. Both the Amazon Echo Dot and the Google Home Mini have processors inside. So let's see which one is faster. I'm gonna race both of these for the setup. The power is not activated yet. I'm gonna do that from a power strip. I am plugging both in, and now I'm gonna turn the power on. All right, we've got the Amazon Echo Dot turning on, and you can see the Google Home Mini is just starting to do its thing. Google Home Mini so far? Google Home. One. Get started. Download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Hello. Hello. So the Amazon Echo Dot, about eight seconds slower in terms of startup, but who really cares? It's the performance of the units that matter. Let's now put these through the ringer. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. That was a lot of fun. Easy to set up. I would say that both the Alexa app and the OK Google app are very similar. Alexa, I love you. That's really sweet. I'm still waiting for the Google Home Mini to set up. It is, at this point, actually a slower process than the Echo Dot, but again, it's the performance of the item in terms of automating your home that makes a world of difference. There are privacy concerns associated with both devices. It's a little bit easier to mute the Amazon Echo in the event you're worried it's listening or there's some type of conversation being exchanged. This mutes it, but for the Google Home Mini, you actually need to pick it up, and then you need to hit this. The mic's off. Both clearly let you know that they are in off mode and of course you could always unplug them. Alexa, who is Matt Granite? Matthew Granite is a TV show producer, show host, YouTube personality and Emmy Award winner. Okay Google, who is Matt Granite? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet, but I'm still learning. Which is interesting because the Amazon Echo clearly used Google to get that information. If you actually time them both, their response times quite equal. Let's try something a little bit more complex. Alexa, what's the square root of 4,290? The square root of 4,290 is 65.4980915753. Okay, Google, what's the square root of 4,290? Square root 4,290 is approximately 65.498. Very interesting to see that Google rounded and Alexa was a little bit more precise. And again, you could take your pick over what you would rather hear. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. Sorry, I don't understand. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why do meteors prefer cold showers when they get home? They're always burning up on entry. So, obviously, that is a terrible joke. So not only is Alexa so much more intelligent and diverse, but you can be much more specific with your questions than you can with Google Home. There is an advantage though when it comes to Google Home playing music. Alexa, play music by Madeline Bailey. 
so the audio is good. You don't get much bass. It's decent. It's a little bit tinny. Keep in mind that you can plug this into a larger stereo system or just buy a larger echo. Okay, Google, play music by Madeline Bailey. Didn't know I was lost, so wake me up when it's Okay, Google, stop. The audio is about 10 times better coming out of the Google Home. Now, keep in mind, the Google Home is not as intelligent, it's not as fluid, it's still learning. Amazon has a huge advantage in terms of what it's accumulated in its ever-growing cloud. But clearly, as a wireless speaker, the Google Home Mini has a huge advantage just in terms of audio quality. In terms of home automation, both devices work identically and they're equally responsive. I use this to control the TV studio that I'm in. I use it to control lights around the house. This works the exact same way. Alexa, turn the studio off. Okay. Alexa, turn the studio on. Okay. Y you can do that with both devices. And I actually have a video showing you how I control my thermostats. Alexa, lower the heat on my Ecobee. The heat's set to 18. It's in Celsius because I'm Canadian. Actually, that's one advantage to the Google Home Mini. The Google Home Mini is available in both Canada and the US. She is not yet, only available in the US, the UK, and other areas, but that is also a disadvantage to the Echo Dot. I will say that the touch controls, very complicated on this. I have no idea what's going on right now. I keep hitting it and triggering it, and I'm used to unboxing a lot of tech. I, I Honestly, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm gonna put it down. But I will tell you, once you get more comfortable with the system, it will work. Both have apps that work with both Apple and Android devices, and the apps actually equally fluid on both in terms of programming your home and smart outlets. And with both devices, you're gonna find a wide range of products that are equally compatible with both. If you do want to learn more about home automation, obviously I've got a full video explaining how to do that. This syncs with Chromecast, which means you can control the TV or if you hook another Chromecast into a speaker system, you could technically expand your audio that way. This works with the Fire TV stick and is absolutely incredible in controlling and searching for your favorite TV shows. The price is the same on both. At the time I'm recording this, you're looking at $49. Amazon does run many more deals on their Echo products. We will see some reductions on Google Home and Google Home Mini products during the holiday season. For everyone watching right now, leave me a comment. I wanna know your answer. Do you want the item that has the better audio by a long shot? Or do you want the unit that is more responsive, smarter, and clearly a little bit more ahead of its game in terms of how specific you can be with your questions. And obviously Google Home Mini will improve, but although this product is new, the cloud from which it's deriving its data has been around a while. Google Home is not a brand new product. So it should be a lot better, just at least in the test that I showed you. Leave me your comment and for those who have commented in the last six months, and if you are subscribed to this channel with your notifications turned on, you're now eligible for your choice of this or that. I want to know what would the winner choose? Using TubeBuddy's random selection tool to find a very lucky winner getting a free Google Home Mini or a free Echo Dot. Congratulations goes to David M. You have won. Just email support at mattsdailydeals.com to claim your freebie. You rock. Hip hip hooray. Yeah, David, you have won. You are amazing. Yes, and you got a personalized congratulatory message from her and me. Now, for those of you that wanna see more unboxings, more comparisons, get insider access to the biggest deals and huge giveaways, very easy process to get subscribed. Just click on my head right here. That will subscribe you to this channel. If you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment so you're eligible for giveaways, just click there. And the last big roundup of deals I've found right over here. Thank you for watching.